YouTube. So today we are going to do something a little bit different. And what we picked up is this 22 inch folding fire pit. So today we're going to assemble it. And because this time in the Midwest, it, the, in the evening times, it starts to get a little bit chilly. So today um, we're going to assemble this, kind of see how it works because we've never had one. So we kind of want to see how it works and um, just kind of, you know, check it out. So we picked this up. Um, we didn't, you know, but this one is the Cedar Trail 22 inch um, folding fire pit. And it's supposed to have a little carrying case down here with it. So we're going to see how this is and, and if it's good or not. And, but anyways, like I said, in the evenings, in fall time, where it's starting to become fall towards the end of September, the official end of September, or the official end of summer here is September 22nd. So, we're going to get this open, if I can, <laughs> and, and we're going to try to see if we can actually... You're blocking that. Uh-oh. Oh, that's okay. Put it together. Oh, it's supposed to slide right up. So this comes right up. Cool. Alright. And that is all that is in the box. So, it looks a lot like a barbecue grill. So we got one thing here. They have here, like they... What do you call this? I have no idea what that is. <laughs> so this is our folding bag that it comes in. So it's going to be about this size when it's done. And we have one little pin. So we'll lay that to the side. Here's our instructions. Yay, instructions. Okay. So this is our handle. That's our pin here. This is going to be our handle. We have a fire screen, which is what she has. We have a wood grate, which is what, what that other piece was that I pulled up first. We have bottom bowl, which is what this is going to be. And then fire pit lift tool, which is what the, the tool was that she had. And the carrying bag. And an M6 nut. Where's the M6 nut? <laughs> I don't know what the M6 nut is. I think that's the one you hold it earlier. No, that's, that's the... That's going to be the handle thing. Probably. It's going to be A. So A is missing, I think. We can't find it. Or is A in the bag? Oh, A. Oops, wait a minute. Hang on. Is I it think in the bag? It. No, A is supposed to be under or with the nut or with this, but it's not in there. Huh. Is it with the other? Oh, it's on here. Here, it's on that. It's on that thing. It's the nut that goes on with that. So that's two pieces in one bag. That one. So, pull on the ring to attach the pin on the leg assembly. Okay, so this is the, the leg assembly right here. So we're supposed to pull on the ring. Whatever this ring is. Oh, here. These rings. This is going to be easy, I think. Here we go. So this is the ring here. So this just comes out, just like that. All these four just fold up right easy and simple. We're just going to pull, like all four of these have just like a little pull ring here. So as we're seeing here, we're just going to pull this, and it lifts it up. Oop, lifts it up, and then it snaps right, right into place right there. So all four of these do that. This is super easy. And then we got our base right here, and that just stands up. So we're gonna put it like this, but it would stand up on this. For now, we're gonna put that there. And then, then it says we attach the handle one to the fire screen. So handle one is this little tool here, and we put this. Where where'd that? Where you put that piece? You took it out of the bag. You done? Yeah. Here. Okay. Now this goes to the fire screen, which is our screen here. And so we just have one screw here. You want to hang on to that? So we just have one screw, and it's pretty easy too. So this is this is so simple. 
So this is really meant to be portable and go, <laughs> you know, just in your bag. So we have one screw, one little nut here that comes off just like that, if you can see it. And we're gonna put it through, through our screen. And again, it just slides in on the inside, so we're just gonna screw it back. And with this, all we really need to do is just be hand tight. You know, if we hold it in place, and if you want, you know, and you're, you're gonna do it permanently, you can hold that with a pair of pliers and just screw it with your hand. But then we just have a nice little hook here, okay? And then really, when our fire gets hot, that's what this, is, this tool is for, and we're gonna use it like this, okay? So that's what our tool here is for. So we're not grabbing at the hot because it is metal, so it will get hot after the fire is going. Yeah. So we have our screen over here. We're going to set that off camera for a minute. Now, in this piece, we're pretty much set up. So in this, we're going to put our wood when we actually light a fire later. Or actually, we're going to have our screen down here. This little screen fits just nice inside, as you can see here. I'll kind of tilt it up. And that little screen just fits nice inside. And it's great for being portable because... This underneath here, we have just enough room to collect all these ashes from our wood or charcoal or whatever we're going to use. We'd have a light fire, and then we're going to put our screen on top. So this kind of makes it safe for the kids and everything else if you have a little bit of a flame coming out. And then when you set it on the ground, now for us, where we're going to end up putting it is over by our patio. So if you'll just follow me. Now for us, probably what we'll end up doing is because we like to sit out by our patio, is just have this here. And then as we turn our chairs, we can have our drinks over here. And because Etta, and because Etta is Filipino, she can sit at the chair, have a little fire at her feet in the evening time, and we can still be outside and have fun in the fall. Yeah. <laughs> So, that is our awesome fire pit that is, you know, what we just bought. And when we're done with it, you know, if we want to take it to the campground or anything else, it's really easy to disassemble too. Now, after it's not hot, you know, we're gonna, just going to do the opposite. So, you know, we're going to dump our ashes. We'd end up setting this to the side. Of course, you'd want to clean it a little bit. But this is going to be real easy to store too, because we're just going to pop this apart. All these are going to go down, just like we put it up. And it's going to store ever so nicely. In our bag. And it even has a nice little handle. So we are ready for the Cedar Trail firing pit bag in a bag so you can use this as a grill even if you wanted to or roast your marshmallows or your hot dogs or whatever food on a stick if you want to or you can just relax have a drink by the fire if you're going camping or whatever and for me this is what I like about it is we tend to hang our hooks and our chairs and everything along the garage so what we do is we have little nails for all of our camping gear and this will hang right here. So, until next time, remember, no one owes you anything. And this is Scott <laughs> and Etta. And keep watching. And if you like it, make sure you hit that subscribe button and like our videos and hit that bell. And we'll see you next time. Baboosh. <laughs>
Setting sun approaches.